Hello and welcome to another Planning Appeal case study video. I'm John Peters and in this video I'm going to explain how we overcame a recent refusal by Islington Council for one of our clients. This Planning Appeal was to overcome the refusal for a single storey ground floor rear extension to the existing side return, a mansard roof extension and a rear addition to the above the existing rear outrigger that was refused by the local authority. Our client was initially booked in for a free no obligation consultation to run through the refusal reasons that had been used by Islington Council and to evaluate if an appeal was viable or if an alternative option would be best suited. The free no obligation consultation, which took around 15 minutes, found that this case was viable for appeal to the planning inspectorate, taking the decision process away from Islington Council's planning department. This case was refused by Islington Council for the following reasons. The proposed roof extension to the main dwelling house and above the rear outrigger by reason of their inappropriate detail, design, scale, siting, form and massing would form a dominant and discordant addition to the host property and wider terrace setting and would be readily visible from the surrounding private realm. The extension would dominate the host property and detract from the historic character of the property. The proposed development is therefore contrary to the national planning policy framework. Now, as an organisation, we've been finding recently large number of errors in local authority planning officers' decisions. These errors help support the appeal cases. We do suspect the increase in errors has been caused by cutbacks at local authorities and unprecedented increase in workloads. Many of you are repeatedly stating to us that they've had little or no correspondence throughout the application process, and the first thing that you know is receiving the refusal notice or even our letter. Our specialist appeals team, who handle over 2.5% of all planning appeals in England and Wales that are currently produced and submitted, start by producing a comprehensive and robust appeal statement that in this specific case covered 34 pages, just over 8,200 words. It's important to detail in the appeal statement where the local authority failed in their assessment of the case and how and where possible both local and national policies apply in favour of the appeal. Additionally, if possible, bringing in similar cases that the planning inspectorate found in favour of the appeal. Once an appeal statement is completed, we send the document to our client asking them to check if they're happy for us to submit the case. If we need to add any additional information that the client may have forgotten previously to supply, it's done at this point and the case is then submitted. It is vitally important that all documents and responses are submitted on time throughout the process as failure to do so will result in the appeal not being successful, something we hear about often when people attempt an appeal for a first time. Always ensure you use a professional who has considerable experience of appeals. It's worth asking them for some recent successful planning appeal case studies like you'll find on our website. Due to the large number of cases we represent, we have a dedicated team that liaises with the planning inspector on a daily basis. For this appeal, an independent planning inspector from the planning inspector visited the site on the 16th of August, and we're pleased to confirm the appeal was upheld and the permission granted on the 12th of September in a five-page appeal decision. If you'd like to find out if we can help you with your planning appeal, complete our online form on our website, www.planningappealsuk.com, and our new case support team will arrange for a free no obligation consultation with one of our planning appeal assessment professionals. Would you like to find an appeal case study for a certain type or application or even a selected area? We have so many and not all of them are published or filmed, but that does not mean we cannot show you what you're looking for. Please ask our planning appeal assessment professional during your no obligation consultation as it is highly likely we can show you what you're looking for. Thank you for taking the time to watch this planning appeal case study video and I look forward to producing another one shortly. Thanks a lot. Bye.